All right, good morning. I got something really exciting to show today. This is Unreal Engine 5.4, compiled from Git, running on MacBook Pro, and deployed to Apple Vision Pro. So, this is really cool. I um, spent about three and a half hours last night working with uh, Brandon Biggs. He posted this amazing uh, tutorial on his Medium, which I will send a link to in the description. And we went through and he kind of helped me along the way, make sure that I got all the steps working and we kind of fixed a couple of little things here and there. But um, I had a, you know, my first time actually building from uh, scratch, having to, having to, you know, compile Unreal Engine from source and it worked. And then we got this, uh, the test template were up and running. And then I, before I went to bed, I actually end, ended up uh, just adding these USDZ objects in there to, to do a test to see how they were holding up. This one has a little bit of an issue because it came in as separate pieces and I don't know why I'm getting this uh, back face issue here, but um, I'm sure that'll be something easy to fix. These other ones came through my Sketchfab, uh, Substance Painter exporting, and this was a Polycam uh, scan I did last year while we were in New York. So with that being said, let's check this out in the app. So we'll go here and click on the app. Hit the test button and check it out. We are in our Unreal Engine scene on the Vision Pro. This is really cool. Um, of course, it's still very uh, jaggedy and aliasing because there are certain settings we had to change for right, for right now in the, the render settings like mobile versus desktop. I did go back in and turn on these um, dynamic shadows just to see what they were looking like. They're very jaggedy as well, but I'm sure this will all get sussed out once the uh, stable build of five four comes out, but this is really promising. This is really cool. I have there's no hand tracking or anything yet in here, and I can't navigate yet. the uh, The dream is to get like my PS five controller hooked up so I can move around in the scene. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And I have to say, I'm really excited to be back on Apple Silicon. Um, I had upgraded from a 2013 Mac Pro, so I need I need Apple Silicon to develop. So I got ended up getting the um, 16 inch. Uh, 14 core, 60 GPU core, 64 gigabyte, two terabyte uh, Max, M3 Max MacBook Pro, which I love. And just being able to monitor, uh, mirror monitor my uh, scene here and look, look at how big this is, this is really awesome. So I'm having fun with this and yeah, just wanted to show this off. It's working and um, I'm excited to see more what people are gonna be able to do once we start getting and real engine stuff over to the headset. So thanks for watching and go follow Brandon on uh, Twitter. Thanks.